Hey, welcome back guys to the Minecraft Military Force, and today I'm here with Hugo2019 with an underscore in the middle, and he is the designer of our new A10 Warhawk. So officially the name of it is the Fairchild Republic A10 Thunderbolt 2, and a lot of people know it as the Warhawk or the Hog, and this is an attack aircraft used by the United States Air Force, used for close air support and he makes this large burt sound or burt when it fires its main gun which is the GAU 8 Avenger rotary cannon it's kind of like a Gatling gun and sort of like this whole aircraft is built around the gun it's also armed with these missiles here on the bottom you can use this for ground air missiles and attack we also got this little antennae thing on the wing which we didn't have in our older run and we also do have I cannot believe it when he told me this, but apparently the landing gear of the A-10 is off to one side. So, you know, at first I thought that was really weird, but if you look at actual pictures of it in real life, that's what it is. So we've done an A-10 tutorial before back in 2018, and that was by Volk. So it was many years ago. So you can see a comparison how we've changed uh, since then. You can look at the shape and compare it to this one. This one looks a lot more realistic. Uh, shape wise of course we have a lot more blocks than back then and if you're wondering what this one right over here is it's basically like a debug version so this is like uh, using the debug stick just to make things a little bit better so uh, this one's more tutorial friendly though but yeah hope you guys enjoy the video and let's build this all right so to get started we're gonna grab some material so let's take out a stone slab stone stairs stone weather skeleton skull iron trap door Polish, blackstone, block, wall, slab, and stairs. And that's all we can hold for right now. So first off, we're going to add in a stone block. It's going to be uh, three blocks above the ground. Then in the front, we'll add in upside down stone stairs with a stone slab on top. And a stone stairs behind that. Alright, so next we're going to make this bottom stone. So it's 19 blocks long. So one, two... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and that should end right there. Then we'll add in upside down stone stairs, and there's going to be two stone slabs. Iron trap door after it, and then stone slab on top, stone stairs, and then we'll add in... Um, this whole row over here just stone all the way across like that all right so next we'll go back over here add in an iron trap door polished black stone stairs and polished black stone block and then a wall with a slab on top then behind it we'll add in two stone blocks stone slab a daylight detector, we're going to make that blue, and then two iron trap doors. Another iron trap door right over here, and daylight detector on top, make that blue. Then front here, we'll add in a wither skeleton skull for the gun. Then we'll go down here, and we will skip this block here, add in two iron trap doors. Skip a block, iron trap door. And over here, we'll add in a lever, so we want to face it towards this side, because that's where the landing gear is. And next we'll go to the back, and we'll add in a lever just facing towards the back right there, skip a block, add an iron trap door, and this is going to go all the way across to the very front. Like that. Alright, so next we'll take out light gray glass pane, we're going to add two on a diagonal. Then two stone brick walls, and up over here two more stone brick walls. Then we'll add in a stone stairs right over here. And then upside down stone stairs at the bottom. We're going to make that five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, and five like that. Then um, over here we'll add in a stone block with a light gray glass pane on top. And then two black glass panes towards the front. Then behind it we'll add in... Um, I would say three more uh, stone blocks, so one, two, and three. Then we'll add in a stone slab right to the side. Daylight detector, we're going to make that blue. Iron trap door. 
and then another stone block and then a stone stairs so that's going to be facing towards the back then we'll add in five more stone stairs so one two three four five then two blocks wide stone blocks and stone stairs facing outwards and another stone stairs facing the back and then a stone slab and then two daylight detectors and we're going to make that blue for both of them down underneath we'll add in two iron trap doors and then two stone slabs and then stone stairs facing outwards i mean towards the back and then stone stairs facing outwards and then another one facing the back then we're going to go in the front area, line it up with that iron trap door, have stone stairs upside down facing towards the front, and we'll fill in this midsection in with stone all the way across. Now in the middle of all of this, we'll add in two blocks wide of iron trap doors. There should be like two blocks here and then two blocks here. Cool. And now on top, let's add in light gray carpet. One of them over here, another one over here. And this one's going to extend one block past this two block wide stone. And we'll add in two blocks wide stone slabs on top. Alright, so next we'll add in iron trap doors to the side of this, just two blocks wide. In the back section over here, we'll add in daily detectors, so it's a two by four. So we we'll extend it out, and of course we're going to make it all blue, because you can't have a yellowing. Like that. And then we'll add in stone slab, so this one extends out to match up with the daylight detectors. Alright, then we'll go um, add in three blocks wide of stone brick walls. Add in a polished blackstone brick uh, wall on the top section of this, in the middle. And then we're going to wrap that around with stone brick walls and another stone brick wall at the bottom. Add in upside down stone brick stairs to front and the back of it. And on top we'll add in two blocks wide of sandstone walls. Next we'll take out a stone stairs and we're going to make a 2x2 two two donut shape or like an O shape. Right over here on top of this iron trap door. And this is going to be where we have like the jet engine, uh, the air intake. So it should look like an O. And in front of that, we're going to do the same thing just with stone brick. So, stone brick stairs. That. And behind that, we're going to make it into a circular shape. So, the reason why we changed that is ideally it would be a circle, but we can't really do that. Because uh, it's Minecraft. <laughs> we still want a, like a nice dark inside. If we just made it like this, then it would be like flat across. So, do it like that. And then we'll take out stone brick slab and we're going to make it 2x2 two two right here in the back. Just tapers off like so. And then next we'll go back over here uh, right where that iron trap door is. Right above it we're going to change that to solid stone block so there's not a giant hole there. Alright. So next up let's add in um, stone brick stairs upside down just to make it 3 blocks long. But we're going to corner the edge like that. And next to it, we're going to make a 2 by 3 of stone. And then we're going to add in a stone stairs upside down. Another one upside down facing the front. Stone block. And then stone stairs in the middle upside down. And then the front and back of it so it's cornered like that. And then we'll go underneath here. Add in upside down stone stairs facing towards the front. Skip a block and add in two of the stone slabs and then we'll add in a stone stairs on top facing towards the front all right so next we'll make the landing gear so let's add in a black wall it's gonna line up with this hole stone button to the side of it and then a lever on the other side and then right above it we'll add in a birch fence with an iron trap door next to it like that all right so next we'll make the u.s air force emblem here on the side so Let's add in a black stone button here. Then we'll add an item frame with a white concrete powder inside of it. And then a dark oak sign in the front of it. Like that. Alright, so now we're going to add in a stone brick slab right over here. Two blocks long. And then we'll add in two stone stairs facing inwards. That. 
few blocks like that and then a stone slab in the front and a stone slab in the middle of that. Then I'm going to go dangling up add in a stone brick slab here and then go dangling towards the front stone brick slab make it uh, three blocks long so one two three dangling up stone brick slab and we're going to make it so it is also three blocks long so one two three then we'll add in two stone slabs here, stone stairs upside down, and another stone stairs, and this is going to be right side up. Stone slab over here, stone slab goes down, like down. and I think we just make a stone um, slab over here, two by two. And then we're going to add in a two by two over here as well, and fill a little nook in like so. Alright, so now we're going to add in some armaments, so let's go down here, see where the stone slot, I mean stairs is, we'll add in two blocks wide, a uh, birch fence gate like that, and then we'll skip a block, add two blocks wide birch fence gate, it's going to lean towards the front of the wing, skip a block, and we'll add in another pair like that. Alright, then we'll go on top, let's add in a birch button, right in the middle of this L shape. At the edge of the wing and then we'll add in skeleton skulls to the front of all these fence gates add in another birch fence gate behind it and that's going to be opened up towards it or all of them like that all right so once you've done that that's it for this side so we copy everything that we did over here and build the other half all right so once you built both halves it should look like this all right so now we're going to go on right hand side over here Next to the stairs over here, add in a dark oak slab. And the other side, we'll add in a little end rod right at the tip. And then for the landing gear, as I said in the intro, it's going to be off to one side. So it's going to be right over here. So delete the stairs, and we'll add in a stone brick stairs facing inwards. And then underneath, we'll add in a birch uh, fence like that. And underneath that will be a grindstone, and we want to make sure it's lined up with the front. And then we're going to add in a light gray banner right to the side of that stairs, like so. And then we'll add in a spruce sign to the side of this iron trap door. Alright, then we'll go onto this side, add in a polished blackstone brick slab with a dark oak trap door underneath the other wing. We'll add in a stone slab with an iron trap door underneath like that. Alright, so once you've done that, congratulations. You should have a completed A10 Warhog in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And thanks to Hugo2019 for actually building this. Give him credit if you are actually doing it. If you guys enjoy the video, remember to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you had already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.